suspicious and looking at things, picking things up and putting them down. And she, she said she definitely noticed you picking up an item and not putting it back. Um, so I put she, it back. Okay, well, that, that's why we're back here. I'm just going to get down to the bottom, if you don't mind, and ask you a couple questions. And, you know, if, like you said what you said, you didn't take anything, you'll, you'll be it off you quick enough, okay? So no need to give me an attitude or anything, all right? So what's your name, by the way? Why do you need that? It's just part of the process of when I bring someone back here, we just collect a little bit of information. That way, you know, like, we're just aware of who you are. That way, if anything happens here, we have all your information. We can contact somebody that you personally know also, so... I'm not telling you. Okay, you don't want to tell me your name? No. No? No. So you have something to hide or anything like that? I is don't have anything to hide. You don't need my name, though. Well, this is just part of the process. I'm just trying to get to know you a little bit better just to make sure you didn't take anything, because there are more things okay. I need to do. It's Leia. All right, cool. It's Leia. All right, do you have a last name, by any chance? No. Okay, that's fine. You live in town or anything like that? Now you need my address? I don't need your address, but I want to know if you live in town so I can contact somebody if, you know, if this goes a little farther than what it is right now. Well, I didn't steal anything, but I do live in town. Okay, cool. Right. Um, working or anything like that? Any family members also in town with you, or are you just here by yourself? I'm here alone. So mom, sister, no brother or anything in town? I have a mom. Okay. So you're saying that you didn't take anything when you over in the woman's apartment in like the toy section or anything like that? No. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's what she, that's what the cook said. Um, I'm just going to go back into the other office. You use some security footage, you know, just pay attention to where you were in the store. And hopefully if I don't see anything on there, then this is over. If I do see something and this is just going to continue. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll be back. Also, this camera's all over too, so you know, just don't try to leave or anything like that, alright? Door will be locked. I'm not leaving. Alright. I'm, I'm at the mall. I'm in trouble. Please call me back when you can. Mom. Mom. Um, I need you to come down to the mall. I, I, I got myself into trouble again. I, sorry. I, I know. I know, but can you just come down? I know, okay, yeah, sure, this is the last time, just please. <sighs> they, they think I stole something, I, I didn't, but... Okay. Yeah, I won't do it again, but just, just come. I'm in the security office, in the back of the mall. Okay. Alright. Okay.
All right. Well, it seems like my clerk was right. It did look like you, uh, over in the woman's toy department, decided to uh, grab something and not put it away from everything that's on footage already. So I'm going to need you to give me your last name now. This isn't a joke anymore. This is a crime, and after I'm done with this whole process, I will be calling the cops. My last name is Ray. Cool. Ray. And so do you live in town? Yes. What street do you live on? James Street. Alright. So you live with your mom, I'm assuming, if you said? My stepmom. Stepmom. Alright. Do you have any, any brothers, stepbrothers, or sisters like that? No? Alright. Oh, boy. So you know what kind of trouble you're in right now? You know that this is a felony and you can be going to jail for a long time. Well, I have nothing on me. All right, well, like I said, once I view your footage, which I confirmed that you did take something, now, like I told you earlier, that the process is going to continue now. So I'm going to have to have you stand up. I'm going to have to just give you a little quick pat down just to make sure you don't have it on you or if you do. Oh, that's so weird. No, it's not. It's just a pat down. Come on. Turn around. Arms out. Arms out, please. Spread your legs. Let's go. Okay. Just want to make sure. Also, did you not listen when I, I did leave and said there was cameras in here by any chance? You know what cameras do, right? They they record, which I was in the other room with the surveillance cameras, and I was watching you while you were in here, trying to, you know, get out and make phone calls and stuff like that, and, oh, also, by the way. Like, right there, in the drawer. What do you have to say, huh? No. I didn't put it there. Alright. Where's my pen? Alright. Oh, well, now you're in really, really big trouble. I'm gonna have to take this process a little further and continue on, alright? Um, since I actually found the item that you've stolen, you've lost a lot of your rights being back here in my office now. I, I control this and you have to do what I say. Alright, that's a part of what happens when you become criminal. Okay? So, um, I'm gonna have to continue my search and I'm going to have to ask you to take off your clothes. Are you kidding? Nope. That's disgusting. Well, I do have to conduct a strip search. I have to make sure those clothes aren't the clothes that we saw also in the store. So I'm gonna have to investigate piece by piece. What if I don't? Well, if you don't, I'll just call the cops right now, and they could just be doing this down the precinct. You could be there for 15 hours, you know, sitting next to all these criminals, and they could be doing the same thing to you in front of all these disgusting men down there. I don't think you would want that, would you? Looking at you, especially, I'm sure you're, you're so young. What are you, like, 19 or something like that? Yeah. You don't want grown men looking at you while, while you're getting searched, do you? No. Well, why don't you just 